activation step by step. Have a closer look on that. You have only see this when you have installed a PDF toolbox or a PDF A pilot where it's similar. Just installed it fresh on your system. You will get have this not activated bar here in the top. I, you can see it clearly. I hope you can see my mouse as well. Yeah, you can see that. And you have a lot of buttons. Hopefully, you already purchased PDF toolbox. Um, Otherwise, this button will link you to, to our website. Uh, when you have already bought PDF Toolbox and received your license PDF file, you can click the Activate Full License. When you are new to PDF Toolbox or the PFD, PDF A Pilot, you can click on Activate Trial License. So this is something we will not cover now. Or when you are already have done something with, regarding activation, you will need the, uh, the button at the right side the enter activation pdf button but so you have installed it you want to activate it how does that work you get this nice little file i'll open it here right now let's say in acrobat you see it it's a license pdf there's something written which already explains to you what to do now so when you open this one in pdf toolbox something magical happens you see the file is opened and immediately a dialog opens. It is, has already been filled out. Sometimes it remains empty um, with some details. In this case, my name and the company and my email address was already yeah, mentioned in the license PDF. If it's not filled out in that dialog, just fill it in, please. The name and the company and most important of all, your email address. As you can see here, also the license key has been filled out automatically. This long thing here, you don't have to enter it manually. Um, so, What will happen now? You, there is a next button. Just click it and the content will be transferred to our activation server. Yeah, you might think, what will Callus know about me after when sending this information? Uh, to clarify what will be transferred to our activation server, you have this details button over here on the right side. So when you click on that, you see this will be transferred to our activation server. So name, activation request, serial number and, and the hardware ID of the current computer. So let's go next and yeah, a new dialogue opens. <clears throat> so I think it takes somewhere around a few seconds to a couple of minutes. So um, just for further information, a license is bound to a machine and not to a particular user. So just so you know, uh, we will talk about it more in detail um, later on, but uh, a license is bound to a machine and not to a user. Exactly, exactly. And um, so we just, I have here opened my webmail account for, for Mr. Penguin and waiting for the answer of, of the license server and where this activation file comes. This is a little bit regarded, yeah, it's connection by the internet or a server needs maybe some seconds to retrieve your email, needs some seconds to process it to generate these new activation PDF and sending it back and your email provider may also take uh, need some seconds to find the post back where to sort it into. While we are waiting here we can have a, have a closer look on this activation dialogue as well again but because when you don't have the possibility to open it here or you want, don't want to use PDF toolbox standalone you can of course also activate PDF toolbox using a uh, uh, Acrobat. You have here under plugins in Acrobat DC, for example, the PDF Toolbox 9 activation menu item. When you click on it, you get the similar dialog. I want to activate with a license PDF. Now you can, here I have it on my backdrop, you can drag and drop it here on that, that field, which changes to red then. Here you have to enter the details, of course, and color software, software.com. 
And you can also do the same procedure when you're using the plugin, which yeah, I've done here right now as well. So in the meantime, hopefully my license is still has still not arrived. Maybe there is somewhere, someone sitting on, on the internet line at the moment, but <laughs> we would be bad presented if we wouldn't have prepared for that. I have that, as you see, maybe I've prepared an activation video. This file will be sent back from, from the, uh, so from the activation server. You see it has another color. It is written there what to do with that file and you can now drag and drop it for example using this dialog here enter activation dialog this um, we, we have already seen this dialog several times this dialog comes when you have entered your license pdf and drag and drop your activation pdf you see it has also a green green mark around it a green border around it so drag and drop clicking next and you're done your activation was successful, it's the response from the software, and you can click on next, and you see it here, that PDF Toolbox desktop is now has now a full license. Some customers stumbled that there is still something written about not activated. What does that mean? But it's, it's written here, but it's only for an add-on component called device and add-on for a desktop. This, uh, yeah, component you only need uh, when you want to use the uh, built-in device link convert color profiles, ICC profiles. When you don't want them, just ignore this uh, this entry, and you can use PDF Toolbox with yeah. Can all you can use all functions of our software there. You can also use own device link profiles. Of course, you don't have to purchase for these add-on when you want to use your own ICC device link profiles. So that's it. I've activated that. And now I could, could run any check or fix up or so. So this is the normal case. So a lot of customers, of course, have also, I have here a separate icon on my screen, have also installed the Colors PDF Toolbox server component. So what does that mean? This is when you look inside the file system, applications, here somewhere we have it. Um, you have PDF Toolbox, which just contains the PDF Toolbox, or you have a PDF Toolbox, sorry, I have some more, <laughs> more um, versions on my computer, or you have the PDF Toolbox server installation, which means that you have the CLI component beside of your Colors PDF Toolbox desktop application. So this is needed when you run, for example, hot folder mode or within switch, you have to install the server CLI component. As this, um, yeah, so to say extended versions is a little bit more powerful. It has a different license, of course. And when you look here inside, you see that it's the desktop component is already activated. We already uh, have, have yeah, done that some minutes ago. But you see it here now on the right side, the server component is not activated. How to now, how now to activate the server? Same procedure as with a, a desktop component. You can simply do an activation here. Click, click on the license PDF, say next, I have here now, a new another license which is where it is mentioned here that it's a color speed of toolbox cli unlimited cpu license which means that this is a server license the other license which we had before i'll open this one as well um, has here desktop mentioned that is the difference the one is for the desktop the one is for the server license so we drag and drop it here the license key is filled out, the other credentials are already taken over from the existing uh, activation and you can simply say next and then the license will end up in my yeah. inbox. So this also takes a minute, maybe, maybe 
Yeah, <laughs> at least the one for the desktop has already arrived, so we have, would have to wait some more seconds for the server now. Um, but this is also I already uh, something I already prepared. I have here the activation CLI, which is also again a green uh, document, as you can see here in the preview. I can either drop, drag and drop it here on that on that green area, or you can simply drag and drop it on the desktop version, and the window opens and it's completely filled out here. You can say next to do this. So it says your activation was successful. And what it now shows me that this server component is activated as well. So both, as Akash already mentioned, are somehow bundled to the respective computer where this license has been yeah, requested. <clears throat> yeah, so sometimes we have this question a lot from the customers that um, if I'm changing my machine, for example, so what do I need to do? Like, do I can I just use the same PDF toolbox on another machine? Um, so maybe you can answer that. As well. Yeah, yeah, sure. Um, regarding the desktop version, it's completely legal and according to our license rules that when you have a desktop version, you are allowed to install the desktop twice. So you can install it on, let's say, your computer at at your desk in the company, but also uh, on your laptop so for, for traveling. You're not allowed to run them in parallel. Uh, for the desk, for the server version, you can only uh, install it once. All other installations are not allowed and would require a cold spare license so for a failover system, so to say. But your reseller will be more than happy to, to explain that when you buy a server uh, to you. So, but what's about, we have, um, we have seen it at the, uh, already here, the deactivate button. What does that mean? When you move, as we already said, the license is yeah, bundled to a, to, a, to a system, to a computer, and you want to now to move that to another machine because you get a new one or so, you can use it by just clicking here and you are asked to, what do you want to deactivate? Activate because you have now here two components uh, activated the desktop and the server. You can say, Okay, I want to deactivate the server because I have installed it on my machine, but I want to move it somewhere in my server room. I want to deactivate it here and let Callison know that, that I have moved that there so that the our internal calendar in the activation system counts correctly. You can select it here, click on next. There is a warning. Do you really want to deactivate the Colors PDF Toolbox server? The license will be removed from the system. Yeah, I want this. I say yes. Then we also contact our, our activation server sending that request. And now the license is removed. We can see it here also in that window. The server is not activated anymore. And there will be an, a notification in my post back within also one or two minutes. So, you may now say, okay, but I'm working on Linux, or I have only the CLI component installed on my remote machine on Windows or Mac because I want to, have, want to keep the system as lean as possible and want to install only necessary parts. So, what you have then only, of course, is these toolbox CLI component. So you can install it, of course, can uh, install our software there as well. You simply call the PDF Toolbox Axon. Access, sorry, I'm the Windows guy. <laughs> so say minus minus key code, your name, let's say Paul Penguin, your company name, make it more simple, colors, and then use the path to the license PDF within your seal icon. Pressing the enter tab and you see it's processed very, very quickly. And there is an output which says, dear customer, please send this email to using your regular email account and so on and so on and so on. So you can simply uh, copy it going to your webmail or transfer it when you're in this machine doesn't has an internet access, just save it as some text file and transfer it 
somehow using a USB stick or whatever to a machine. Paste it here into an email, copy the email address or write it manually. It's simply activate at colorsoftware.com. Use any subject you want, it doesn't make any difference. Activate, for example, and send it manually to our activation server. Oops. We'll come back a while later. So, in the meantime, other have, have arrived. The desktop, I have the activation from my server. At the deactivation from my server, which I've done using the desktop version. And um, in, in some seconds, the new activation will come here in my post pack as well. But as I've used the prepared CLI activation or server activation PDF already, I will use this one as well now. So drag and drop or do it manually um, by using the command line, the PDF toolbox executable binary, then simply type activate, use the path to the activation PDF, pressing enter, and the response is rather short. Thank you for purchasing PDF toolbox server. How to find out if it's really activated on the CLI? Well, there is a rather small um, command as well. Um, it's a status. And it gives you a longer output. Here it starts. Here it's now written. Um, you see PDF Toolbox Server activated. PDF Toolbox Device Link Add-on. Again, we have that uh, for the desktop. It's also available for the server. In the dispatcher are not activated. You don't have to take care of that. You just want to run the server. It's also listed on the CLI. You can, can check it there if you have it. If the, the, if the executable file finds somewhere on the system yeah, a valid activation for itself. And what you see a little bit more below here, you have also listed here where the license is stored on, on, on your system. So that's it for the CLI. Also quite simple, I hope at least. Um, I have a question. So you are working with CLI for quite some time. So you know all these commands, status, activate, but how can our customers find out which commands to use when? Yeah. Um, I'm more than happy to show this to you. Just go to helpcolorsoftware.com. We have a quite extensive help area there, and we will, and we are still creating new, new articles all around PDF Toolbox or PDF A Pilot or PDF Chip. And when you go here, you find for first um, yeah, a chat, an overview about the manual. You find here some articles about installing for first desktop or server on, on, on Mac and Windows, and of course on Linux as well, how to activate or deactivate PDF Toolbox. And you will also find a big chapter you have it here on the right side as well. There's a visitor already mentioned. But I scroll down to the chapter Colors PDF Toolbox CLI command line interface. That's what CLI stands for. And you have here a, a whole article, a long article, Sorry for that, but we want to have, have most details covered uh, here as well. So system requirements, hardware recommendations, how to install it, and what you have asked, Akash, how to activate using the CLI. There is everything that has to be taken into account. It's documented there in the helpcolorsoftware.com um, area. Also, how to deactivate using the CLI. It's all mentioned there, but I don't want to bother you uh, with looking at the CLI commands any longer here. Um, yeah, let's go back wherever we have it to the activation. What we have seen now is um, we how to activate it. So just open the license PDF in Colors PDF Toolbox desktop standalone. That's the most convenient way. Or go via help activate Colors PDF Toolbox or in the Acrobat plugin use the activation entry below plugins. Fill out the information if they are not already filled out 
or drag and drop your license PDF inside that area there. You, after a while, you get the activation PDF. Wait a few minutes and uh, for that email, it may take one, two, one, two, three minutes. Don't tr activate and activate and activate again and again and again. <laughs> this will only end up in, in multiple activation PDFs in your post bag. So drag and drop the activation PDF you get there and congratulations, you did it. The activation will be then successful. Of course, common problems. <laughs> can, there are some pitfalls, so to say. How can they be avoided? First, there are only two PDFs. There's the license PDF, that's the red one. It's valid for a whole one major version. So it doesn't matter when you have now a PDF Toolbox 9 license, it's valid for the 9.0 as well as for the 9.4, which has just been released a week ago. And you have a green one, don't install it. Just use it for activation, throw it away afterwards. Why? It's only valid for 48 hours, for two days. Afterwards, this activation PDF will not be suitable for activation anymore. Like Akash also explained, it's only valid for one hardware system, the system where you requested this activation PDF from, and it's green. So it's obvious that these are two different PDF files. Drag and drop also the activation file here on that area. And like already mentioned, give the service some time. It may take a while. Um, and please check your spam folders. Sometimes, depending on the system you're using, look inside of it, just to be sure. We have seen that already. It's also very easy to do that on a CLI. Just use the minus minus key code, name, company, path to license PDF, send the output to the activation server. You'll get an activation PDF immediately back and um, then use PDF toolbox, executable, minus minus activate path to the activation PDF and you're done. That's it for activation.